today I am going to be showing you how to get rare horses in Wild Horse Island. Now I don't know why I decided to record this video as I'm eating ice cream, but anyway. So there are a few ways on how to get rare horses on this game and how I've managed to get pretty much nearly every horse. Now the first one, where's my mask on? first one is obviously catch them like here we have the black andalusian and it's just in the wild just there now obviously the different islands have different tiers so if we go to the boat obviously everyone knows this because you unlock the lower tier islands first and then so it goes mainland blizzard forest royal desert mountain jungle lunar volcano volcano is the highest tier island now obviously the higher tier islands you are more likely to get a rare horse on those but don't don't cancel out the lower tier islands because they can actually give you really good horses i have found so many good horses on forest island obviously i'm not going to find any now because i've just come in the game and there's like barely any horses spawned but don't um automatically think that you have to go to the higher tier islands you have to have the higher tier islands unlocked to get the rare horses because you don't because you can actually find even rare horses on mainland i found quite a few forest island is actually the island where i found my summer event deep sea clydesdale so it's a very good island to find horses on rare horses especially now obviously you will have a higher chance of finding the rarer horses on let's say jungle island specifically jungle island because there are a lot of horses but that is different for a lot of people because i have not actually found a rare horse like a really rare horse on this island i have found the island unique horse which is this one but Obviously, I found that on this island because it is the island unique course for this island. But anyway, so number one is catching them. Now, this, um, oops, I just knocked my spoon. Oh, here we have another rare horse. The Cremello Acultique. Ac actually, it's pronounced Acultechi. I have been saying it wrong. So with the catching, you sometimes get lucky like this and they will be there when you spawn in or sometimes you have to grind a bit for them to start spawning in. Like it does take a, a while sometimes for the rare horses to come in the game, but don't give up. Do not give up. I spent like three hours on Forest Island before I found the Deep Sea Clydesdale. It's definitely worth it. Now, the second point I obviously can't show you because I don't have someone else with me, but it is co-breeding. If you go to a public server and ask someone to co-breed a specific horse with you, majority of the time they will. When you breed horses, there is a chance, I don't know if obviously everyone has bred horses before, but when you breed horses, there is a chance of many outcomes and there's a chance of getting the one you want. I got this coat colour actually through co-breeding with someone. I also got Nelly, Nelly's coat pattern through breeding with someone. I didn't catch it. Um, so yeah. Definitely ask someone to co-breed if they do have a coat colour that you like and that you have been wanting to get. That is also a way to get a lot of the legacy the legacy coats. If you don't know what a legacy coat is, it is like butter here. Um, it is the coats that are discontinued, basically. Like this would have been on a horse that is now discontinued, like the version one Clydesdale coats for example like this is also a legacy coat of the old Appaloosas so co-breeding is a, a way to get rare horses and legacy coats which are also rare horses so it's actually a very very handy thing that they've added that to the game I also got pumpkin through 
co-breeding with someone because as you know I've been trying to get this coat colour on a Frisian for so long and someone had it on a Frisian and I, we co-bred and we managed to get it so it's actually helped me get a lot of the, my rare horses it's a very good way to get the coats that you are struggling to find in the wild also with getting rare horses it is ideal when you're trying to catch them to have a private server since obviously you're not competing then with all the other players in a public server for like you can get some rare horses in a public server like i got batman in a public server and I was very lucky with that. You have to be very lucky to be able to get a rare horse in a public server. It's definitely worth investing into getting a private server if you do want a bunch of rare horses. You'll have a much higher chance of getting them. I'm not saying it's impossible with just a public server, as I know that you have to pay for Robux, then pay for the private server, but it is definitely worth it. I I think I wouldn't have really any of the horses I have now, except obviously the common coats, um, if I didn't have my private server. So it's definitely worth it. Or find like a buddy or someone to join their private server and you can go on it when they're not. Or even two people on one server isn't a lot. So that is definitely one thing that will make a huge impact on the amount of rare horses that you manage to get. Okay, so the last way that I would say is how to get rare horses is when you get the notifications up in the little chat bar, click on it and go to every single island that it says that there's a rare horse for sale. Because when it says this, it, sa it means that there's a rare horse for sale for tokens, not for Robux. So it's definitely worth it. I got the liver chestnut Frisian for tokens from one of these notifications. I got the Dapple Palomino Sabino Clydesdale, this one. I got Sparky from buying from a market. So markets are definitely your friend. It is worth having tokens to spend um, just in case there is a rare horse that you've been wanting that comes up for sale. It, it isn't cheap. I'll tell you that the rare horses for sale don't tend to be very cheap. So the rare horse for sale here is this one and it's 4,000 tokens. 4,000 tokens for this little fjord. Let's have a look at the other two islands that there are rare horses for sale on because I might actually buy one. Speaking of buying things, I am going to be doing a kind of market um, shopping spree. Not the market on the Wild Horse Islands, but other people's markets, like other players' markets. I will be doing that. So the rare horses for sale on here are the two Andalusians. One is for 3,000, one is for 2,000. I'm surprised that the more rarer one is for 2,000, but it's... this game never makes sense, to be honest. And let's head to the final island, which is Mountain Island and then that will be the end of this video because it's just short it's just sweet it's just to give you guys some help if you are looking for help on how to get rare horses this is how i've gotten all my rare horses not all of them i have caught some of them but even some of the island unique horses can be sometimes sold for tokens so the rare horse on here is this Percheron. I have seen this horse before um, for tokens, this Appaloosa. Obviously I didn't buy it because I already had one. I have, I bought um, this pumpkin's coat as a paint horse from Jungle Island for tokens. I've bought the Buckskin Sabino for tokens. I have now caught all of those as well, but that is a good way when these notifications come up definitely go and check out all of the islands that say that there's a rare horse for sale because you will find something good i guarantee it but anyway guys 
stay tuned for another video where I give how to get all of the all of the what you call it <laughs> all of the breeding unique coats I will be doing a video where I show all of the matches and what the, the outcome is um, just to help because when I I struggle to know what the outcomes are and what the matches are so I thought I'd do a video on it to help anyone else who needs um, like help when they are breeding I definitely do anyway I hope this this video helped you let me know how you've managed to get some of your rare horses if you have done all this if there's another way that I have missed or not heard of but these are the ways that I have gotten my rare horses um the markets is definitely a really good way as well as the co-breeding the hunting does take a while so we've got i don't even know how many um points i've said i've said the hunting horse hunting horse grinding which is when you have to actually grind and catch a bunch of horses the horse hunting is just going around the islands the co-breeding because a lot of people are actually really nice and will co-breed any horse with you and the markets. Let me know if I've missed anything. This is the end of the video. Please like it. I know it was short, but I really do hope it was helpful. I hope you have a good rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!